Brother, you ate my ice cream, didn't you? What? I don't know anything about it. You're lying. I know you ate it. You better pay me back. No, I really don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, no need for excuses. I'll forgive you, so I just go get it. Oh, and while you're at it, get one for me as well. As if. It's fine, right? Nope. I'm not buying jack squat. What? You're not going? I can't believe you. Because I didn't. I told you, I don't want to hear your excuses. I want cake instead of ice cream, okay? Oh, that was your ice cream, Mai? I'm sorry, I ate it. Oh, really? I'm sorry, Kenta. I'll pay for it, so please go get it for me. But why do I have to? Just get going. My two sisters are at the top of the hierarchy in this house, and I live my life getting bossed around by them. Yo, Kenta. Good morning. What are you searching for? Why, for the eye candy, of course. I don't understand why you enjoy seeing them so much. How could I not when they're so cute, Ali son? Please don't call me that. You just want to keep them all to yourself, don't you? Not really. Plus, I don't find them cute at all. What? Who's not cute, you say? He's so cruel, me. Yeah, our brother's a big meanie. How dare you make them cry? Death penalty for you. Don't fall for their fake tears. Tears are tears, even if they're fake. Except there's no tears to be seen. Complaining about such small matters, how uncool. Just leave already. Hm, we were going to anyway. Let's go, me. Yeah, my. See? Totally not cute. However, after that day, the twins' attitude toward me changed. Of course, I had no idea what was in store for me at the moment. And so, your mother and I are going away on a vacation for a week. We're going to need more explanation than that. What do you mean by, and so? I want a pair of travel vouchers. Uh-huh. And? And I just finished a difficult case, so I have some free time. So... So, I've decided to go on a trip. Mom's already on our way, and I'm leaving right after this. What? What about us? It's only for two. You guys will be in charge of looking after the house, of course. Oh, no. You better not take this opportunity to lay your hands on us. Was that directed at me? Sure was. Hmm. I have the right to choose. Don't act all strong. Actually, you really shouldn't. Not you two. She's my sister. Plus, it'd be a crime. Yeah, but, you know, cousins can get married here in Japan, so... His comment froze everyone in place. Huh? What do you mean? What do you mean by, what do you mean? Who are you referring to as cousins? You? My chan Hmm. Did I just hear you casually say something outrageous? Didn't I explain it to you when you were little? Maya and me were the children of your mother's sister. She died in an accident right after they were born, so we adopted them. What? Wait, Dad, are you serious? You didn't know this either, Mai? It's my first time hearing this. When exactly did you tell me about this? Right after we adopted them. Then of course I don't remember, stupid Dad. Huh? Really? But you two always came with me every year to visit the cemetery. That's because we were told she was a very special little mom. Yeah. Oh, um, then, should I explain further? No, it's just a lot to take in. You can tell us when you get back from your trip. I just need some time to sort it all out. Yeah, I prefer that too. All right. Hey, Kenta? What? So, careful not to touch them, all right? I won't. And so, Dad then went on a trip. Oh, it's morning already. Good morning, Oni-san. Oh, good morning. It's a nice morning, isn't it? Yeah. What the... What are you doing? What are you doing? Why, sharing a bed with you. Ah, what, 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 what do you want? What do I want? I want you. What? Hey, how dare you try to steal a march on me? You know what they say, the early bird gets the worm. Get away from him. Don't wanna. Me. Fine then, I'll stick to him too. Hey, no fair. No, it's not. You're the one being unfair. Let go! You let go! Hey, Nissan, you like me better than Mai, right? No way, right? Stop butting in! I'm having a conversation with Nissan right now. You should be the one to leave. 
Oh, breakfast is ready, by the way. I did my best for you today, Nissan. I also prepared a box lunch for you. Let's eat it together for lunch. Wow, scoring cheap points, I see. If you're so bitter about it, why don't you do it too? Oh, that's right, you can't, huh? Hmm, since you insist, I'll do it too. I'll have you get dressed, Nissan. Let's take off your clothes. And when we're done, I'll brush your teeth too. That's cheating. What do you mean? You know exactly. You're the one who told me I could. I was referring to cooking. I don't recall you ever saying that. Read the context. I'm scared. Huh? huh? What's wrong with you two? This is so out of character for you guys. Actually, this is more in line with how we are. Yeah, we were just enduring hiding it. But we learned that we don't have to put up with it anymore. It didn't look like that to me when you guys were being snotty. It was all just an act to make you hate us. Come on, it wasn't that bad. Ah, uh, I see you trying to score points. I'm really sorry. Hmm, what's wrong? You have nothing to apologize for. Stop trying to flatter him. Yeah, what's wrong, Nissan? I don't understand. I need a proper explanation. What we mean is... Mai and I... You both like you, Nissan. As in sexually, Capiche? Yep, exactly. Ah, I see. In a sexual way, eh? But no matter how much we love you, we can't marry you since we're siblings, right? That means we have no shot at being with you. That's why until yesterday, we were trying so hard to make you hate us, but... After hearing what Dad said yesterday, we figured it out. Figured out what? That, that we, we don't, don't have, have to hide, hide our feelings, feelings for you. you. So from now on, I'm gonna get close to you. Yeah, so let's start by getting you dressed. Let's go to school together like we did in elementary. We can have lunch together too, right? I can't wait. I was at a loss for words. I f mind I refused to absorb all of the info I had just received. Nissan, I brought lunch. Let's eat it together. That one phrase set the whole classroom a buzz. What's going on here? Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm your brother. No, I'm her brother. I'm sorry, but he's my one and only brother. Guilty. Guilty! Come on, let's go before... Thanks for waiting, let's go to lunch! The classroom lost it again. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I'm actually Michan's brother. I'm her one and only brother. I'm sorry, he's my one and only brother. Guilty! Guilty. Ugh, looks like my got here before me. I knew you'd come. Of course. Hey... What in the world happened yesterday? Did you hypnotize them or something? How great it would have been if that were the case. What do you mean? If it was hypnosis, I could just break it. Oh, well for starters, you might want to evacuate. The level of lethality in the classroom is dangerously high right now. That's an alarming level. Ah, fine. Guess I'll go. Yay, let's go, let's go! Mai, you should walk very slowly to make sure you don't ruin the lunchbox. I'll guide Nissan first for you. Thank you for your kindness. Then I'll be sure to walk very slowly with Nissan while you go get our seats. Hey guys, don't fight. A final guilty echoed through the school as we exited the classroom. The nightmare didn't end there. As I ate lunch, I could hear tongue clicks from the jealous boys around the area. Here, Nissan, have a bite. Um, thanks. Here, I'll feed it to you. Say, ah. You can't do that, me. I'm the one who made this meal. I won't let you eat it if you do that. Ugh, so unfair. Hey, guys. What's wrong? You don't like the food? No, it's good, but... Great, it was worth getting up early for. Could it be that you're thirsty? I bought your favorite drink from the vending machine beforehand. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. That's not it, though. Aren't you guys uncomfortable? About what? Like the bitter tongue clicks and stuff. Oh, shall we move somewhere else? Maybe we could go someplace private, like the gym storage. It'd be the perfect place to have an accident. I don't want to eat in a place like that. And I don't plan to have any accidents either. So you're saying you're serious about me then? Nope. Not getting through to you at all. Why not let it be? The jealousy gives a sense of security, no? I don't feel that way at all. <sighs> you really are wonderful, Nissan. Yep, looks like I'm wasting my breath. I've been a student for just over 10 years. The chime of the end of lunch break rang in my ears like gospel. Me was the first to arrive after school. Let's go home, Nissan. Uh, yeah, sure. 
You're complying? Could it be that you've fallen for my charms? No, I'm just tired of resisting. Where's my? Who knows? She probably left already. Also, don't think about other girls when you're with me. But she's your sister. It doesn't matter. Even sisters are enemies if they're aiming for your man. Ugh. I knew you would try to leave without me. As if I let you do that. I thought you went home. Nope, I saw you running down the hallway during homeroom. So I went ahead of you since there was a good chance I missed you guys. Come on, let's go home together. Say, why don't we get some ice cream first? You can go alone. Anyways, Nissan, come help me buy groceries for dinner. You should just go shopping by yourself. Then let's split up. I want to go buy comic books. Oh, All right. right. I, I have business, business at the bookstore, book too. In the end, all three of us stopped at a bookstore and went home. I'm back. Welcome back. Will you have a bath or have me instead? I mentioned dinner, but Mice in charge of that, and it's not ready. The bath isn't prepared yet, either. Then, by the process of elimination, you'll have to take me. Yeah, yeah, stop fooling around and help me. Ugh, I'm making your favorite food today, so look forward to it, Nissan. Oh, yeah, thank you. After dinner, I took a bath, retired in my room, and finally caught my breath. Ah, I'm so tired. How could they change so easily? I thought they were my real sisters up until now. We may not be siblings, but that doesn't change how I feel about them. I don't find them cute, but they're still my little sisters. I'm so thrown off. It was then... Doorknob turned and I jumped. Ah, uh, it's locked! That voice, me, is that you? Yeah, it's me, your little sister who loves you. Open the door! I don't want to. Why? Because I'm scared. It's okay. It's not like I'm a ghost or anything. I'm just a real high school girl with a warm, soft body. Yeah, that's exactly why I'm scared. Why? What are you doing there? Oh, my. Please stop her. Hurry, let's get in there. Not you, too. He locked the door. What? He's never done that before. Right? Plus, he said he's scared of me. I don't blame him for that. You were being aggressive. Not true. Nissan, I don't care if you let me in or not, but please let me in. Ah, you traitor! It's just a matter of winning favor, that's all. Um, you're no exception. <gasps> Why? I don't get you guys. What are you talking about? Suddenly changing your attitude after being so cold to me. I can't take it. You already explained the reason to you, though. We did it because we didn't have a chance with you. I don't believe you. Anyway, I'm not talking to you guys until my dad gets back. Hey, don't be so mean! I'll apologize for everything I've done, so please! Hmm. And so, I just wrapped myself up in my blanket and I fell asleep. For a moment, I was able to forget the reality that lay beyond the door. But, it was only a momentary escape. I woke up to a loud noise. I looked at the clock and saw that it had been about two hours since I had fallen asleep. The sound was coming from outside. The living room. Look what you've done! He's totally pissed! Why are you only blaming me? Because this would have happened if you didn't try to sneak into his bed. Well, really? I think forcing him to buy ice cream under false accusation is way worse than what I did. You're in on it too! If anything, you're just as guilty. No, I'm not! You're far worse! Hey, what are you guys doing? Uh, Nissan. Nissan? Why are you two fighting? You always got along. We were, and it's not like I hate me or anything, but I can't let this one slide. There's only one you, but there's two of us. If only one of us can win you, then we have to fight. Exactly, it doesn't matter if she's my sister. That's no excuse to fight. Then choose right now. Huh? Choose between me and my, who'll be your wife? Wife? That's going too far. No, it's not. We can't see ourselves with anyone but you. Yes, it's either marry you or die alone. We are prepared for the worst. Don't make such a resolve. So, who will you choose? We promise to stop fighting no matter who you pick. Uh, I mean... Uh-huh. My, you're good at cooking and you help mom a lot, so I think you'd make a great wife. I also learned today that you're the type of person who goes out a lot for the person you like. Does this mean you'll choose me? Me? You're bright and energetic. You pull others along, I think that's a good trait. In fact, a lot of guys are attracted to you. Does this mean you like me? Even so, I refuse to choose either one of you. What? Because you guys are my sisters. 
But we're not blood related. It doesn't matter. A brother doesn't touch his sister. Can't you budge a little? No. Now make up right now. You're both my precious sisters. No, I don't wanna. I wanna marry you. Choose, choose. Just pick me already. No, make up. Didn't I just say something movie? I don't care about that. Just marry me. That's not good. Yeah, who cares about that? How can you let a girl tell you this and not pick? I know, right? How cruel. I love you, but this part of you is just a little... Wish you show a more manly side of you. Eventually, my two sisters began to get into their usual whining about me. The two were hitting it off, saying nasty things like, idiot. But for some reason, the ranting was very comforting today. I felt like I was finally back in the normal life that I knew and loved. The next morning, I, I woke to a sweet scent, a soft touch and warm body heat. Oh, good morning, Nissan. Breakfast is ready. Good morning. When did you two get here? They were smothering me. I thought we settled the matter yesterday. Uh-huh. Me and I talked it over afterwards. And we realized that our real enemy wasn't each other yet. The real enemy? Before trying to beat each other, we have to get on the battlefield first. Nissan, you don't even see us as women, right? That's why you were able to say those things. That's right. The real enemy is you, our insensitive brother. So we decided to make a temporary truce until you're defeated. Fighting each other only makes us both look bad anyway. Meaning? From now on, as you wish. We'll get along and work together to make you fall for us. So prepare yourself. We'll be in your care. You've got to be kidding me. In sync, the two sisters laughed. It seems the previous lifestyle I've grown accustomed to is yet to return. Enzai, are you free after this? The girl who's talking to me is now the student council president of my school. Lauded as a genius ever since she first touched the textbook. Her name is Sakuya Kujoin. She's also my senior in school by one year. By the way, I'm the one in charge of general affairs in the student council. You coming over today too? <laughs> of course. I have nothing to do after this anyway, so I can just head straight over to your place. She comes over to my house every single day, and the reason for that... Wrong again, Anzai. You have to use the same formula that I taught you yesterday. Yep, this is exactly what it looks like. She's actually my tutor. I was originally from the same middle school as Kujoin. But more than that, we were already close because we were in the student council together during middle school as well. That was why I swore to myself at her graduation ceremony that I would follow her to high school too. But <laughs> that was easier said than done. Even though I somehow managed to pass the entrance exams after studying for my life, the fact remains that it's an elite high-level school attended by geniuses like Kujoin. With my mediocre academy ability, I couldn't keep up with my classes and I kept on failing my tests. In the end, Kujoin couldn't bear to continue watching this disaster unfold and extended a helping hand. Actually, well, maybe it's more accurate to say that she got angry at how badly I was doing when she found out that I almost had to be kept back a year because of my abysmal grades. <sighs> with this, I have a complete legitimate reason to be in his room. I'm so happy. There's no way the school or his parents would let Anzai repeat a year. So I have their full approval too. All my bases are covered. <laughs> to think our relationship already has his parents' blessings. All that's left is to keep on laying the groundwork. Sooner or later, Anzai will be mine. <laughs> what? I just got chills. It's summer right now, so it makes no sense for me to be feeling like this. For some reason, I kind of felt like a little rabbit trembling under the watchful eye of a fearsome predator. Welcome to our home, Sakuya. Oh, thank you for having me. Mom, I told you to knock when you want to come in. Come on, you don't need to stress the little things. And I brought up some snacks for you two, too. Thank you for always thinking of us. I don't think it's a little thing, though. Oh, I see. You don't want to be bothered when you're busy. I guess both of you are at that age, huh? Mom? Don't worry, I'll make sure to listen carefully at the door before I come in. Just to confirm there's none of that stuff happening, of course. What are you saying? Wait, seriously, please don't say that! 
Fine, I get it. I understand that you don't have enough courage to do anything. It still sounds wrong, even if you say it indirectly like that, you know? On the contrary, I'm saying it as obviously as I possibly can. Ugh. Jeez, please just get out. Okay, then. I'll see you two later. Have fun, Sakuya. Thanks to Mom, the rest of the time was spent in awkward silence. I may already be aware of my feelings for Kujoin, but that doesn't mean that I want to be teased for them like that. See? Kujoin doesn't know what to say either. Thanks for today, too, Kujoin. No problem. It's one of my duties to take care of my juniors, after all. Also, it would be a serious problem if one of the members of the student council had to be held back. <laughs> That's not something to laugh about. Uh. If you don't manage to move on to the next grade, I'm halving your allowance. I said I got it already. Everything will be fine. He's got me watching over him, after all. I can't thank you enough. Don't be too soft on him. <laughs> of course not. Huh? You've got to be kidding. Even while thinking that, I didn't have the guts to ask them if they were real. Say, Kujoin. Hmm? What's up? You have your own exams to think about, too. Why are you doing so much to help me? I can probably get into university by recommendation anyway. It's more important to me that my dear junior doesn't end up repeating a year because I refuse to help. I'm sorry. Kujoin exudes a cool and aloof image, but that tends to make her easily misunderstood. But she's actually the nicest person I know. She is a girl I fell for, after all. But it looks like she has no idea of how I feel. She's only helping me with my studies out of goodwill. Although she sometimes does things that make me think I have a chance. At the end of the day, there's no way someone like me is worthy of being her boyfriend. Thanks for walking me home. Not at all. Good night, then. Good night. See you tomorrow. Be careful on your way back. As I walked along those shadowy streets shrouded in darkness, Kujoin was still all I could think about. I have a little over half a year left with her. If I followed her all the way into university, that would make me a real stalker. She's probably going to end up attending one of the top five universities in Japan anyway. I wouldn't be able to get into one of those no matter how I try. Right! If it goes on like this, it'll just be a repeat of what happened in middle school. I have to confess this time. It's about time I stop being content with our current relationship. Otherwise, it's all gonna end before it even begins. That's the one thing I absolutely want to happen. A few days later... I'm Haruka Enzo. It's nice to meet you. I know it's a little strange that I'm transferring in midway throughout the school year, but I'm looking forward to working hard alongside all of you. Thank you for having me. The new transfer student is gorgeous! Has my springtime finally come? Hey, hey, do you have a boyfriend? This girl, could she be? Ah, Ikuma! What? Oh, Lord! What's the meaning of this? My long awaited springtime! Long time no see, Ikuma! So it is you. Yeah, a long time no see. She's my childhood friend. A while before I entered elementary school, her father's company transferred him to a different location, and her entire family moved away. Up until then, the two of us were close enough that we played together every single day. <laughs> it's really been such a long time! Wait, Haruka? You've gotten so big, and your body's so sturdy now. D don't help me so suddenly! Hmm, you're being mean to your childhood friend, you know. I'm the only one you have, after all. Be nicer to me. It's just, it's embarrassing if you hug me in front of everyone, like that. So you mean I can hug you if we're alone? Not exactly. Enzo? See, you're being summoned. With her cheeks all puffed out like a chipmunk, Haruka made her way back to the front of the classroom. She hasn't changed at all, huh? So now that I have your attention, Enzo here is actually a rare talent. She passed our school's entrance exam with a perfect score. She was also first place in the national mock examinations. Doesn't that make her an actual genius? Seriously? I never knew she had such a good head on her shoulders. So, Enzo, what was it like at your previous school? Forget that. I'm more curious about what your relationship is with Anzai. Um... 
whether it was due to the novelty of there being a new transfer student or her natural allure. Haruka was surrounded by her classmates in no time at all. Oh, right, Akuma. Huh? What? I heard from Mom about how horrible your grades are. How did she know about my grades? Hmm? I think she said Auntie told her. The Auntie she's talking about has to be my mother. Does it give her some sixth sense of satisfaction to go around telling people about my terrible grades? I can tutor you. I'm good at studying after all, so I don't mind helping you out. After all, fate reunited us at this time for a reason. But uh, the thing is... Unless there is some reason you can't. <sighs> What's this expression on her face? But no, of course not. I see. So I'll see you after school then. We can do it at your house, right? Oh, I'll actually be busy with the student council stuff after school. Then why don't we just meet up on the weekend? Right, the weekend. Okay. Kujoin only comes over on weekends anyway. This should be fine, right? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. And when the weekend came... Amazing, Haruka! You make it so easy to understand. <laughs> I know, right? I'm good at tutoring people. Naraka's tutoring was a lot better than I expected. She understood exactly which parts I was confused about and broke down all the problems into easy-to-digest portions which I could do easily. Honestly speaking, she's a better teacher than Kujoin. Oh my, he's asking for trouble. Well, I guess he brought this on himself. What goes around comes around. Though I wonder how Haruka found out about Akuma's grades. And then the day after I had the tutoring session with Haruka. Anzai, can I have a moment, please? Uh, sure. Huh? She seems kind of angry. I followed Ku Join into the student council room. What's going on? There's something I want to personally confirm with you. Were you at a tutoring session with someone other than me? Ah, uh, um, that was... Just today, it reached my ears by chance. I overheard the most intriguing conversation about how you had a girl over at your house yesterday to help you with your studies. If I'm remembering correctly, they were talking about the new transfer student. It would be in your best interest to tell me everything in detail. Uh, about that. Why is she so pissed off? If I admit it, what disaster will befall me? You heard right. Arika, why are you here? I saw her take you away, so I followed. You just decided to follow us? Can the person who doesn't belong to the student council please remove herself from this room? You don't have to be so strict about it. I'm Akuma's childhood friend. It's only natural for me to worry about him. Childhood friend? Oh, now that I think of it, aren't you tutoring Akuma too, President Kujoin? Why bring that up? And why are you asking? From now on, I'll be taking over as his tutor. He won't be troubling you anymore, so you can leave it all to me. After all, he did say my teaching was really easy to understand. As his classmate, I believe that I'm more fit for the job anyway. Surely someone who actually takes the same classes as him would be a better tutor. Don't get ahead of yourself. All these years, I taught him everything he knows. Of course I'll continue teaching him in the future. But you'll be off to university next year, won't you? Uh, that's... Ikuma also prefers me as a tutor, right? What? W w what are you doing? How about it, Ikuma? Who's better at teaching? President Kujoin or me? If it's just that, Haruka wins by a mile. Anzai. Ugh. The way Haruka broke down the problems was a lot easier to understand. <gasps> it was, wasn't it? <laughs> so, President Kujoin, don't worry and leave him to... However, Kujoin is the one I want to tutor me. Huh? I'm grateful for what you taught me, Haruka. You really did do your best to help me understand everything. But Kujoin is an important person to me. With your blatant hostility towards her and the way you're constantly mocking her, I'm afraid I can't continue being your friend. Onsai? But, but your grades haven't improved at all. Doesn't that mean that everything she taught you was useless? Yeah, it's true that my grades have barely changed since the tutoring started, but that's completely my own fault. 
I'll get better grades in the next round of tests. And prove that Q-Join's tutoring isn't as useless as you say it is. <gasps> Fine. On one condition. If you don't rank within the top half of first years for the next round of tests, you'll let me take over as your tutor. Okay, it's a deal. Then I'll see myself out. Anzai. Uh, sorry it all became so weird. It was my fault in the first place for not being able to handle my studies on my own. You must think what I said was stupid. Anyone watching from the side would think I don't have the ability to go making a deal like that. Thank goodness this happened here and not somewhere like her classroom. Actually, no. The truth is, I was really happy. Let's do our best studying together for your tests. As your tutor, I'll give it my all so that I don't lose to that girl. Just like this, we recommended our tutoring sessions with the coming tests in mind. It seems like Ku Join had a lot at stake this time, too. She taught me more seriously than she ever did before. To be honest, there were times when I found her pretty scary, but I knew it was for my own good. For the sake of not losing the remaining time I left with Ku Join before she left for university, I studied like my life depended on it. And the result... We did it! I'm in 44th place! Forget making it into the top half. You're one of the top 50 students. This is all thanks to you, Kujoin. Thank you so much. The time and effort we put in paid off, and I was able to win the deal I made with Haruka. Ikuma? Oh, Haruka. Congratulations on first place. Thank you. More importantly, our deal. Yeah, sorry. I'll be continuing on with Kujoin as my tutor. No, it was my bad for getting too impatient and being so unreasonable. I know I was being self-centered. I see. Well, as long as you get it. But I haven't given up on Akuma. Just because I'm letting you be his tutor doesn't mean I'm handing him over. After all, being in the same class as him also means my chances are way higher. It's just when I thought she understood, it turns out she didn't. But wait, does, does this count as a confession? Anzai... I have something to discuss with you after this. Uh, okay. What exactly does she want to discuss? I didn't do anything wrong, right? So, what did you want to talk about? The thing is, I have to make the first move before that girl steals you away. I like you, Anzai. So, please go out with me? I like you too, Kujoin. I should have been the one to confess to you first. But I'm also so happy. I could hear your confession. So are we an official couple now? Yes, let's get along well with each other. And that was how we started dating. To be honest, it kind of felt like a miracle that just magically fell into my lap. But no matter how it happened, to finally be dating the girl I've been crushing on for so long, I've never been happier. I feel a little sorry to Haruka, but from now on with Kujoin, no, with Sakuya, I'll try my hardest to make sure she never regrets becoming my girlfriend. By the way, after getting together with Sakuya, I put my all into studying and I was eventually able to test into the same university as her. Well, it was all thanks to Sakuya's hellish tutoring boot camp, though. Um, here I go, ya senpai. My name is Mikoto Sakuraba from the freshman class C. Ever since I first saw you on the train, I... I've been interested in you. Will you please be in a romantic relationship with me? Oh my god, what did I do? I finally said it! Hmm. What do I do? Kirigaya Sampai is thinking really hard about it. I guess it's normal. It's probably a bother to ask him to date me just after seeing him on the train. Does he think I'm being too pushy because it was so sudden? My salary last year was about $8,000. Huh? Salary? I won't be able to make you happy with the way I am now. Sorry. What? Oh, wait! Kirigaya, senpai! Salary? What? He's too serious. Wait, does he think I'm a girl that needs a lot of money? Why? My name is Mikoto Sakuraba, and I'm 16 years old. When I confessed my feelings to the guy I liked, he told me his salary instead. So yeah, that happened yesterday. <laughs> what the hell? Are you serious? I'm seriously serious. This means that he turned me down, right? 
I can't even be turned off because it's so hilarious. Machi-chan, you're laughing way too much. But Kirigaya-senpai said, the way I am now, right? Yeah, basically. That means there's a possibility that he'll date you in the future, doesn't it? Hmm, I'm not sure about that. You don't need to be so sad. Either way, if you really like him, don't give up just because he said no once. Keep going at it. What? I can't do that. It's fine, it's fine. Just do what I tell you to do. He'll fall right into the palm of your hand. Uh, what should I do then? I, Susumu Kirigaya, I'm a second year in high school. I have two older sisters who are currently married and are now stay-at-home moms. There's one thing that my sisters repeatedly tell me. They say that men who can't provide for others have no right to date a girl. But I was a mere high school student. I wanted a girlfriend too. Huh? She's a girl I turned down the day before yesterday. What? Is she glaring at me? What do I do? Does she have a grudge against me now? Or maybe she's thinking about how my salary is so low. What should I do? She's totally my type. I shouldn't have said anything about my salary. Start by staring at him and letting him know of your presence. Look at him in a way that'll let him know that even after he turned you down, you're still interested. That's what Maki-chan said. I feel like it's working. Kirigaya-senpai looks uncomfortable because I'm staring at him. All right, it's a little embarrassing, but I'm going to stare at him a little more. What? What's going on? She's so scary. She's actually glaring at me. Uh, damn it! She was actually my type, though. I have to be careful when I stand on the station platform. I might be in some trouble. Apparently, if you make a woman angry, it's a death or death situation. That's what my sisters often said. I feel like I truly understand what they were talking about now. One week later. Ah! It's so crowded this morning. But I mean, with this many people, that Sakuraba girl won't be able to glare at me. She glares at me every single day now. She must actually hate me. Uh, um, Kirigaya-senpai. Whoa! S sakuraba san It's very crowded this morning, huh? Uh, seems like it. When did she get here? And she's so close, I'm scared. A full train is your chance to get super close to him. Use that crowd as an excuse to subtly touch him. Maki-chan, your plan worked again! Kirigaya-senpai looks like he's so nervous! And it's making my heart beat so fast! She's bumping her shoulders into me so much! Does this mean... Is she trying to say that it's easy for her to sneak up behind me? That she can push me off the platform at any time? Kirigaya-senpai is so tall and handsome! Wait, I'm getting distracted! What am I supposed to do after this? Maki-chan, I need your help! She's using her phone like she has all the time in the world now. Is she gonna tell all her friends that I'm a pathetic guy for looking so scared? Um, Kirigaya-senpai? What is it? I'm not hung up over the fact that you turned me down anymore. I'm the type of girl who doesn't care much. Stop lying! Aren't you always prowling after me like you're doing now? Uh oh is that so? So, please, be friends for me from now on. What? Well, that's what two bad people say when they make a deal. Especially when someone thinks they're stronger and have more power than the other person. As if implying that I won't be able to say no. Oh, yes, that would be nice. I did it, Maki-chan! I did what you told me to do when I talked to Kirigaya somebody with a smile. Now we're in a really good situation. Ooh, good for you! Did you finally steal his heart? Yeah, it's all thanks to you, Maki-chan. Alright, why don't we move on to the next step? Hey, Kirigaya! You seem really toyed recently. One of the underclassmen has my life in the palm of her hands. What did you do? It's because I turned her down, probably. She's probably thinking about how she's going to murder me right now. The following day after school. I was waiting for you, Kirigaya-senpai. An ambush? Uh, hello, Sakuraba-san. Uh, what's the matter? Can we walk home together? Okay, well, let's walk home together. Uh... 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 Is this a Dragon Quest game? Am I like a hero? This is a little different than I thought. I know that the situation isn't supposed to be like this. What? Kirigaya-senpai, what is this? 
What are you talking about? When a boy and a girl walk home together, they normally walk side by side, not in one line. Uh, is that so? All right, I'll do whatever you say. <laughs> We're not talking at all, but she seems very happy. When I look at her like this, I can't deny that she's a normal and cute girl. No, no, my sisters did say that the best part of a cow was the enemy. That's the most calories. Anyway, I guess I'll properly apologize for what happened before. Uh, um, um... Oh! Uh, we spoke at the exact same time. We spoke at the same time? Uh, um... Go ahead, Kirigaya-senpai. No, no, you go ahead, Sakuraba. No, 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 no. You go ahead, Kirigaya-senpai. Okay, then. Uh, um... I'm sorry about turning you down a few days ago. What? You were worried about that? Of course. That's why I wanted you to forgive me. Forgive you? Don't worry about all that. In fact, I'm also so sorry that I asked you so suddenly. Not at all. It made me happy. I, I did want to be in a relationship with you, but... Huh? Uh, she might actually be a cute and good girl. If he actually wanted to be in a relationship with me, does that mean I had a chance? In that case, maybe I was thinking negatively about things the whole time. In that case, maybe I'll be able to win him over if I take one more shot. Um, Kirigaya-senpai, I like you. Please be in a relationship with me. Yeah, sorry, I can't do that. We can't date. That was such a quick answer. So mean. It hurts. That sounds like a catchphrase at a Giadon restaurant. Please, at least explain why you can't date me. Is it because the way I look isn't your type? No, you're absolutely my type. Is it my style, then? Your style is perfect, too, from what I can see now. Is it my personality? After talking to you, I know that you're absolutely amazing. Then please be in a relationship with me. Yeah, I can't do that. Please give up. Wait, what? You're going to make me give up on romance and love! You'll be fine. One day soon, a wonderful man is gonna come find you. Please don't sound romantic when you're turning me down! I was anxious and nervous the entire time, but we calmed down and decided to sit down at a cafe in front of the train station to talk. Have you decided on your order? The couple's exclusive miracle parfait is 50% off right now. It's very cheap. Uh, we'll, we'll take, take that! that. Aw, you're so in sync. Coming right up. So, why are you turning me down without any hesitation? It's not you, Sakuraba. I just can't date anyone right now. My salary is just too low. Why don't we stop for a second there? The salary you've been talking about. What is this all about? I have two older sisters who tell me the exact same thing. A man who can't support another person has no right to be in a relationship. Support another person? We're still students, you know. I think you're a little too worried about money. Besides, I think the salary of $8,000 for a student is pretty good. What's your salary then, Sakuraba? Zero. My parents want me to prioritize my studies, so they won't let me have a job. I see. You're practicing now to become a stay-at-home wife. Oh, no, no, not that. I'm going to work part-time once I start college. You have the wrong idea. But thanks to that, my grades are in the top 20 of my year. I'm extremely thankful for my parents. They both work super hard so that I won't have to worry about money. Thanks to that, I'm able to devote myself to my studies without having to get a job. How are your grades, Kirigaya-senpai? Huh? I'm number one in my class. Oh, uh... Number one from the bottom? Nope, from the top. If I start counting from middle school, I've been the valedictorian for five years straight. Uh, oh? You're able to balance work and study so efficiently. I'm jealous. <laughs> I mean, you know, they say being a good student is different from being a good employee, after all. How do people think of you at work? The workers in the main branch want me to become a full-time employee once I graduate high school. I decline, though. See? You're good at your job, too! Ugh, gosh, I'm getting frustrated and jealous! 
I'm going to convince my parents to let me work in the same place as you, senpai. That's up to you. But shouldn't you listen to what your parents are telling you to do? Senpai, you're caring about your sister's opinion way too much. And also, while you're at it, please help me study. I mean, that's fine, but... And be in a relationship with me, too. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Gosh, why not? Thank you for waiting. Here's your limited edition couple's exclusive miracle parfait. Why did we order this? After that, Sakuraba and I ate the parfait and headed home together. By the way, Sakuraba did just as she said she would and started working part-time at the same place as me, but... I'll do it first and show you how it's done. Just watch me from behind. Y yes Kirigaya Sampai is so handsome at work, too! <sighs> I'm so happy that I'm able to be with him at work, too! When we didn't have work, I started helping her study after school. Just use his formula for this problem here, and then... He's so close! He's so close! He's so close! I love him! He's so smart and so handsome! You're way too amazing, Kirigaya Sampai! Honestly, I can't stay like this any longer! Oh, yeah? Why are you talking like that so suddenly? I haven't been getting anywhere with Kirigaya Senpai! No, oh, no, you're totally making your move. You don't need to rush things. It's not like he isn't interested in dating girls other than you, right? Yeah, that's true. He doesn't want to date anyone at all. Well, all you can do now is to be prepared for whatever situation comes up. For whatever situation? Be prepared for what? He might say, come over to my place, or let's get into a love hotel. What? Senpai would never say anything like that! Who knows? He has a boy after all. There's a possibility he'll ask for things like that even if you're not in a relationship. Do you think so? That day after school, Sakuraba, can I go over to your house this weekend? What? Is that a no? It's not a no. It's not a no, but... Why are you suddenly talking about coming over? I mean, I am a guy after all. I want to make that move while I'm in high school, you know? Make that move? You probably don't want to do that though, right, Sakuraba? It's not like I don't want to. In fact, I'll do my best. <sighs> Kiragaya is super close to that freshman named Sakuraba, ain't ya? Yeah, I'm close to her. Are you two dating? No, we're not, but uh... The boys are talking about how cute she is, you know? Everyone says she's honest, cute, and the prettiest girl in the freshman class, you know? Is that so? There's a bunch of guys who want to ask her to be their girlfriend. It seems like they're not asking because they don't know what you two are. But if you don't make your mark soon, some other guy might steal her away. <sighs> Sakuraba, can I call you Makoto from now on? Why so suddenly? Of course you can! Okay, Makoto. I'll go over to your place after I prepare myself, so you should be ready too. Got it. Roger. Leave it to me. Is that how you usually talk? And on the weekend. I'm just a nobody from nowhere, but I'm very pleased to meet you. That's what we're supposed to say. So you don't need to introduce yourself like that, you know. Oh, this is a gift. It's a cheese tart from Canon. Oh, that's famous on TV. Thank you for being so polite. Why is this happening? I prepared myself because Senpai wanted to come over, but he said he wanted to introduce himself to my parents instead. I had a feeling, uh, I had a feeling, but still, what the hell is Senpai thinking? Makoto has told us a lot about you, Kuragara-kun. Everyone relies on you a lot at work, and your grades in school are excellent too, right? I'm so thankful that you're helping Makoto study. So her father and I were just talking about whether or not you two are dating. About that, I'm gonna get straight to the point. Sir, ma'am, please, let me borrow Makoto-san. What? Huh? I want to be in a relationship with Makoto-san. Please, let me borrow her. I, I mean, we get that you're very serious about her. But what does it mean to borrow her? I'm just a student, so... I can't be irresponsible and ask you to hand your daughter over to me. Oh, right. I understand that you're a genuine guy in some way. But if you're going to borrow her and give her back, I'm a bit skeptical about that. It might make me think that you're an irresponsible person. 
You can just casually ask whether you can date her. I don't want to be casual about things. I'm very serious about Makoto-san. I love her. <laughs> if you approve of our relationship, I swear that I'll make her the happiest girl in the world. It's gonna stop! My heart is gonna stop! I'm gonna have a heart attack, so stop right there, senpai! Stop! But I'm a mere student right now. A mere student? It's embarrassing to say, but my salary is only about $8,000. Only? You won't approve of me as her boyfriend if I can't support her like that, right? That's why I'm gonna enroll in a prestigious university after this, work at a big company, and aim to have a steady income. I'm not sure how long it'll take for that to happen, but when that happens, I will come back and ask for Makoto-san's hand once more. Will you let me borrow Makoto-san until then? Mikoto is... Oh, she's out. She's completely frozen. What do you think, honey? Hmm, he's thinking very far ahead, huh? I think it's okay, since he's thinking about his future with Makoto properly. But he's missing the point a little. Would that be a no, then? No, it's not that. I think you're a little too hung up over the word supporting someone. Honestly, at this point, salary shouldn't matter much. You are a student, after all. But then... You're saying that you don't have confidence that you can make Makoto happy, right? Listen, Kuriyaga-kun. Happiness is built up over simple moments like this. A build-up of simple moments like this? What does that mean? You get in a relationship with Makoto, smile every day, and build wonderful memories. You might argue at times, but looking back, there are more wondrous memories than bad ones. Happiness is about all those memories that you have now. I think it's more important to treasure the present moment rather than wanting to make her happy in the future. That's why your salary doesn't directly equal being able to support her. After all, a salary is just one aspect of being responsible for the happiness of someone important to you. <laughs> that was so cool, honey. I've fallen in love with you all over again. Right? I had to act cool because I was in front of my wife, after all. Huh? What? Did you just say something, Dad? I wasn't listening at all. Understand? I'm gonna date Makoto-san and make her smile every single day. I promise that one day, I'll come back to ask for her hand. What? Yep. In that case, I approve. Please take good care of Makoto. Make Makoto smile every day, okay? Did my parents just approve of our relationship with the marriage in mind? Oh, I can't do this anymore. Makoto-chan, is it okay with you, sweetie? Huh? Mikoto-chan. Oh gosh, she's out again. Maybe she reached her maximum capacity for happiness already. Mikoto Sakuraba, 16 years old. When the guy I liked came over to my house, it was decided that we would date with marriage as a goal. So yeah, that happened yesterday. <laughs> That's such an unexpected situation, it's hilarious. I can't believe he asked your parents if he could borrow you. Maji-chan, you're laughing way too much. But what am I supposed to do now? I'm so embarrassed that I can't even look at Kiragi senpai in the eyes. Oh, that's easy. Just be confident and hug and kiss him. It's not that easy. I can't do it. You totally can. You are boyfriend and girlfriend now. With parental approval. I mean, it's a good thing, right? He is your boyfriend now. Yeah, thank you so much for everything, Machi-chan. I mean, that's one thing I have to apologize to you about, Mikoto. Apologize for what? So yeah, this girl named Machi started talking to me. She said she felt bad for Makoto-chan with the way things were. That's why I decided to put a bit of pressure on you. I see. Anyway, I would have never thought you'd go and introduce yourself to her parents. You're dumb, aren't you, man? Uh, but you're gonna take responsibility and make Makoto-chan happy, aren't you? Yeah, obviously. I'll take responsibility for what I said. You're super smart and dumb at the same time, but I think you're cool when it comes to things like that. Can you decide whether you're gonna compliment me or insult me? Nope, you're kind of annoying. That day after school. Gosh, I never would have thought your friend and my friend were plotting one against us. Maji-chan didn't do anything wrong. I know that. In fact, I'm very thankful for her. I'd love to meet her sometime and thank her in person. In that case, please, let me meet your friend too, senpai. Anyway, I wanted to properly tell you. What is it? I promise you, as your boyfriend, 
I'm gonna make you happy, Makoto. So, will you please continue being with me? I'm gonna do my best to make you smile every day. I'll do whatever is in my power and... What? Why are you crying? Because... Because... <laughs> but hey, don't cry. I just promised your parents that I'll make you smile. Because, because... You say things like that that make me so happy that I'm crying tears of joy. <laughs> okay, let's calm down and go eat something sweet, yeah? Thank you for the wait. Here's your limited edition couple's exclusive Miracle Parfait. Why did we order this again? Wait, we're a couple now, so I guess it's okay. After that, Makoto and I ate the parfait and walked home together. That's all we did that day, but ten years later... Congrats on the wedding, you two! Susumo! Makoto-chan! Hope you two stay happy! Thanks for coming, you guys. Thank you. It's your turn next month, isn't it? Just like that, the two of us. ...are getting married today. It's almost time. Yeah, it is. A year flew by, didn't it? I feel like a year is so long, though. Hey, Tatsuya. Hmm? You still feel the same? Neither of us are popular at all, are we? That's not an answer. I wasn't lonely. Huh? You remember how I was kind of in a hurry? You and me both, Yukina? Yeah, that's why we had that promise. But a year after that promise, I never felt lonely at all. I didn't feel like I needed to be in a rush at all. That was all thanks to you being around me. Whoa, slow down there. Huh? It sounds like you're asking me out. It's not set in stone yet, we said a year. It's going to be a year next weekend. You never know. We might get a huge reverse sweep. There's still a few days left. When there wasn't for a year? You never know what's going to happen in life. I see. But if nothing happens, we have to fulfill our promise. Yeah. The day of. Let's go on a date, huh? You aren't going for the reverse sweep either, are you? Well, that's a different story. Don't change the subject either. What do you say to the date? Not at all. I mean, okay then. Where did you want to go? Huh? The date. I don't care as long as you're there. Next weekend, we would be dating. Neither of us said it out loud, but we were pretty sure. That was a year ago. It had been a few months since high school had started. It was completely different than when I started middle school. Everyone was kind of getting ready to become adults. Hey, Tatsuya! What? We have a problem. What happened? Can you not tell a difference in the classroom? No. That was rhetorical. Think a little bit before answering. Hmm? I don't know. Doesn't the air seem... Pink? Huh? Is this some kind of weird fantasy? That's weird, man. No, you moron. I mean, not completely. What do you mean? Look at Murai. Doesn't he seem different? Did he cut his hair like an eighth of an inch? I don't know about that. Then what? Doesn't he seem... manly? You think so? How can you tell if he's cut an eighth of an inch of his hair, but not that he's acting more confident? What's your point? He's a man! What are you talking about? He's always been a man. Not biologically! You're really kind of dense, are you? He did what God intended with his girlfriend. He's no longer a child. What? Not just Murai. Many people seem to have found themselves partners during summer vacation. Too fast, don't you think? Apparently, we are too slow. No. This is the reality we are facing. What do we do? It's simple. We find ourselves girlfriends. Yo, what are you two talking about? Ah! You scared me! <laughs> you don't have to be so surprised. Or were you two talking about something that you didn't want me to hear? Uh, no. 
Could it be any more suspicious? What was it? Something dirty. No! Later, Tatsuya! This is your problem now. But, hey, don't run away! <sighs> so? What were you two talking about? Have you ever thought about maybe being a little considerate? Or having an ounce of decency? Totally. All the time. You're lying. Tatsuya, you said that you were fine with me. Oh yeah. I did. We're friends already. I started getting along with Yukina Watanabe when I started high school. Afterwards, we sometimes went home together. We apparently live in the same area. So, what were you two talking about? It's nothing. Seriously. I see. It's something you can't tell me about. I said no earlier. I think it's something dirty. I said no. You're so persistent. I'm not going to be grossed out, you know? I have an older brother, and he's always talking about dirty things and making dirty jokes. It's borderline sexual harassment. Huh. I didn't know you had an older brother. You're an only child? Yeah. Are you... happy? About what? That I'm like a younger sister and don't have any other sisters. It's like a thing for boys, right? Some kind of weird younger sister fantasy thing? No. What? Come on, the mangas that my older brother reads always have that kind of stuff. What's he reading? Just so you know, there are no sisters that come out and tell everyone how much they love their older brothers. Even if they do exist, it was because they're trying to get money out of them. It's like a sales pitch. I love you, big bro. In parentheses, your money. That's not nice. So? What were you guys talking about then if it wasn't about that? I get even more curious when you try to hide it from me. So, like, um... Yes? Murai-kun found a girl. Oh, okay. So, you're basically upset that you're alone because no one loves you. Yeah. We'll go with that. People really did start dating after high school, huh? Yeah. So we're all kind of in a hurry to find someone. You want someone? I mean... I think it would be fun, you know? I see. You got anyone you like? I mean, yeah, but... So you don't care who it is? You know... You can be really blunt sometimes. But that's what you're saying, right? What about you? I want one, but I don't have anyone I like. I see. But I do think I need to hurry, since everyone else is dating too. It definitely feels like we're being left behind. Then how about we just go out, hmm? What? <laughs> Look at you being surprised. Why would anyone not be surprised? I don't mean right away. What do you mean? In a year. A year? We just start high school. I think we'll meet more people. So one year. Let's stay friends for a year. If we don't find anyone in a year, we date. How's that sound? What, kind of like that whole, if I don't find anyone till 30, then let's get married kind of deal? Exactly that. Okay, sure. Let's go with that. It's settled then. That's how we made a vow that afternoon. We still didn't meet anyone for a year. And I basically spent that year with Yukina. For example, during the summer... Take that! Ah, salty! Take that! Time out! No timeouts! It's in my mouth now! My throat hurts! Hey, wanna have a duel? What kind of duel? We see who can swim to that place over there and come back first. Sure. I think I'm gonna win, though. You're confident, I'll give you that. I mean, I'm a guy. Ready, set, go! Not fair! Handicap! And summer flew by. Continuing on, fall. Look at the leaves. It's so red. Pretty cool. I like fall the most. Why? It's comfortable. I mean, 
True. What season do you like most? I like... summer, I think. Why? Oh, it's so hot. That's what's nice. It feels like the world is alive. I don't understand that at all. And there goes fall. This time, winter. Ugh, my hands are so cold. You're using your bare hands to play with snow. I mean, what am I supposed to do? What do you mean? There's snow, I can't not make a snowman. You're kind of a kid, huh? Here. What is this? My hands are getting itchy from getting too cold. So? Warm them up. You're pretty spoiled, too. No, no, I'm good at being spoiled. Get it right? I did. Mm, shut up. So? Is this good enough for you, princess? Y yeah What's wrong? N no this is a... What? It's kind of embarrassing. You're the one that asked for it. I guess I'll stop then. No, hold. I'm embarrassed, but I, I, I don't mind it. Okay then. Okay. I think it's getting warmer. Good to know. Your hands are bigger and harder than mine. Your fingers are so skinny and pretty, though. I mean, I guess. Very manly. I felt warm. Even during the cold winter. Then we had our second spring together. I feel so relieved. Me too. What are you relieved about? Well... Yeah? You know... I do, but... I want you to say it. Because we're in the same class. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. It's almost time. What is? The promise. The wind blew. But it wasn't cold at all anymore. The cherry blossoms were in full bloom. And spring was spurring us along. Before you knew it, the seasons flew by us. The day a year was going to pass. I had promised Yukina I'd go on a date with her. We both told each other about our feelings. I'm a little shy to say that we like each other. But we're definitely going to be dating each other. I think I came a little too early. It was right in that moment that my phone vibrated. It was Yukina. Hello? Hey, Tatsuya. Are you still home? Yeah, of course. I lied. But I couldn't say that I was too excited, and was already waiting. Good. <coughs> Are you sick? I have a fever now. I thought I could push through it, but... You know how today's a weekend? My family is all here and I can't leave. Why would you try to leave when you have a fever anyway? Well... I see. You were that excited to go on a date with me, huh? Mm, yeah. It was a quiet voice. But I heard it loud and clear. I could feel my face getting warm. Ah, uh, how horrible are you at taking care of yourself? You chose the worst time to get sick, didn't you? Seriously. Maybe it's my fault that I did a little fashion show last night. A fashion show? Yeah. I wanted you to say that I was cute. Uh, sure. You're awfully flirty when you have a fever. You think so? Yeah, maybe. Uh, whatever. You just need to rest up. We can go on a date another day. Okay, um... What? It's going to be a day late, but... Can you wait? Of course. <laughs> Thanks. We hung up. My face was definitely warm. It wasn't like we were dating. I hadn't even seen her today. I could feel my heart, my body, reaching to her. <sighs> I'm going home. Hey you, cutie! Excuse me? Ah, you do look like my type. Um, what's going on? 
Whoa, don't be alarmed, buddy. I think anyone would be alarmed by some stranger talking to them. I see, you're not used to this kind of thing. What kind of thing? Flirting. Flirting? <laughs> don't be so surprised. Are you teasing me? Nope, I'm serious. I heard you talking on the phone, but your partner didn't show up because she had a fever, right? Wanna hang out with me instead? Uh, no thanks. Why? What do you mean, why? Am I not your type? Uh, no, I think you're pretty. Really? Well then, let's go somewhere. Wait, hang on! What? Oh, my name, it's Sakamoto. You can call me Sakamoto-chan. She had complete control of the flow of conversation. I couldn't turn her down. I was now hanging out with Sakamochan instead of Yukina. Then, when the weekend was over... I'm sorry about yesterday. Oh, it's fine. You don't have a fever anymore? I'm totally fine. Yukina started talking to me. Anyway, you're acting funny. Are you mad? No. Then, what is it? Nothing. That was not a nothing moment. Spit it out. I told her everything that happened. That I was already there by the time she called. That Sakamochan had talked to me. And I went on a date with her. I didn't tell her that I had fun. After we finished talking, she spoke up. I'm done. Huh? That was the deal. If we found someone, we wouldn't date. Well... You found someone. I like someone, but... Don't. Congrats. Wait! No! I said wait! No! What is it now? You want to make me more upset? Just shut up and listen! You're misunderstanding! <laughs> what am I misunderstanding? I do like someone. But it kind of goes against our promise. So we don't have to follow it. But that girl is you! Huh? But you said you went on a date with a different girl! Yeah, it was fun. But it was weird. I knew from that date that I wanted you. I told her I wasn't interested in her either. Let me tell you again. I wanted to ask her out correctly. But I knew if I tried to put it off any later, it would get more complicated. I just pushed forward. I want you. Please go out with me. That's not fair. I know. We went on a date with a different girl. Not fair. I don't forgive you. Sorry. But it was my fault that I got sick. So you don't have to forgive me either. And it seems like I like a boy too, so we can call it even. In other words? You really need me to tell you? Sorry. <sighs> I'm saying yes. Huh? Let's go out. I like you too. It's not about the promise. I just like you, so I want to out with you. Really? Of course. Yes! Wait, Tatsuya. I'm so happy. Thank you. Okay, you're happy. You're also embarrassing me. Tough luck. Oh, you child. All's well that ends well. The next weekend, we started going on the date that we couldn't go on before. Morning. Oh, you're here early. We've still got over an hour left. I could say the same thing to you, Tatsuya. If I don't come early, someone might get asked out while I wasn't here again, and someone might not say no. Ouch! Is the sniping necessary? Of course. I have a right to be jealous. I'm your girlfriend now. You have a point. By the way, I was flirted with while you weren't here. Wait, really? What? Are you upset? I was waiting for you. You know what I said. I mean, yeah, but... Are you happy your girlfriend is popular? If you're embarrassed, don't say things like that. Mm, I'm not embarrassed. 
But your face is red. That's... because I have a fever. Yeah, you're lying. Why? Because you're very flirtatious and honest when you have a fever. You're saying I'm not being honest? Yeah, clearly. Not true. Yeah, okay, sure. Whatever. We're finally here. Let's go on our date, huh? Uh. What are you so cranky about? It was at that moment that she got up on her tiptoes and put her hand on my chest. I could hear her soft voice in my ear. Hey, Tatsuya. I like you. What was that? <laughs> See? Honest. Yeah, okay. You've made your point. I lost. Very well. Let's go on our date, huh? Let's. So, where should we go? I really haven't looked anything up. I told you before. She smiled before saying to me, I'll go anywhere with you. I was still in elementary school when my mother remarried. It was then that I was introduced to my stepfather. It's nice to meet you, Ryukun. Nice to meet you. I'll be your father as of today. I hope we can get along. This is Lemon, your sister. Say hello, dear. Nice to meet you, Nissan. When I heard Nissan coming from those cute little lips, I realized that I had become her brother, and I vowed to take good care of her. Nice to meet you. I'm Ryu. Uh, I'm Lemon. We're siblings starting today. Yes, I'm happy. And now, nearly ten years have passed. Hey, Lemon, hurry, let me use the bathroom. <laughs> Don't ignore me. I'm able to finish quickly. Hurry up or we'll be late for school. Isn't that your fault for staying up until the last minute? All right, it's my bad, so just make it quick. No, I want to look pretty when I go out. Then you can continue after I leave. Then I'll be late. She used to follow me everywhere I went, but now she's all grown up and she's become cold towards me. Of course, it would be a problem if she continued that behavior even in high school, so I understand. But sometimes I miss the old days. I don't talk to her as much now that she's in high school. She rebels against me a lot too. It became difficult to say that we had a good relationship. However, little did I know that this relationship would soon change due to a little accident. Oh, dude. Good morning. Morning. What's up with your hair, man? Hmm? Does it look weird? You've got a serious bedhead. Don't tell me you took the train looking like that. For real? What? Are you serious? <laughs> That's quite an original style. Damn it. It's all because Lemon hogged the bathroom in the morning. That little sister of yours appears to have the perfect grooming look, eh? Her shiny black hair is as stunning as ever. Yeah, and my hair is a mess because of it. You guys still don't get along? It's not that we don't get along, it's just that our relationship isn't the best. I mean, you guys aren't even related, right? You're practically living with a stranger. She may be my stepsister, but I still consider her family. What's it like to live with a pretty sister like her? It doesn't matter if she's cute or if she's my stepsister. A sister is a sister. Nothing more or less. You say that now, but won't you regret it when she brings home a lover one day? No way. If anything, it's about time she did. All right, you said it. Hang tight while I go and become your sister's boyfriend. You know she's famous for being unfriendly, right? She's beautiful, but she rejects everyone. Don't worry, I'm a masochist. Let's get along, brother. You have no right to call me brother. See? You're trying to monopolize her. Nope. I just refuse to let her have a relationship with a man who already has a girlfriend. It's called brotherly love. I'll break up with her then. You're all talk. I know you're head over heels for your girl. <laughs> True. Putting your sister aside, you don't have a girlfriend? I don't really need that kind of thing. Because you have your sister? So persistent. It's not that. I just want to concentrate on my studies. I'm trying to get into a national medical school. Then why don't you go for a smart girl? You can study together. She can teach you what you don't know. Plus, you guys can exchange information about the entrance exam. Hmm. That's actually not a bad idea. Shall I introduce you to someone? Yeah, I might take you up on that offer. It's what I said, but I'm pretty sure that's never going to happen. 
because I don't have time for that kind of thing. Dad, uh, how are we on that thing I asked about? I'm still looking for it. I don't think you need to go that far. You don't have to go that far, you know. I want to do everything I can so I don't have any regrets. Man, you're really unwavering. Once you have your mindset, that's it, huh? Sorry. It's fine. What parent doesn't enjoy being relied on? Hey, what are you guys talking about? I'm doing you a favor. Hmm? What favor? It's nothing you need to worry about. If you say so. All right, I'm going to go study. Okay, just don't forget to take a break sometimes. This is how my typical day was supposed to end. I woke up to a sudden noise. Hmm? Hmm? As I became more aware, I felt a strange sensation. It's midnight. This is my room and I should be sleeping alone. Yet I felt someone's presence. Who's there? Ah! That voice. Lemon? Nissan, you're hurting me. I turned the lights on. And for some reason, Lemon was there. She was in her pajamas with her cell phone in hand. What are you doing? I... Uh... And what's with the cell phone? How should I say this? It's to relieve my stress? It's to replenish my energy? It's for a collection of sorts, maybe? Um, sorry. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but I do know that you're trying to mess with me. I'm going to report this to Dad, then. No, please don't. No? How could you? This is all your fault to begin with. What? I've been trying to suppress my feelings and keep my distance from you because I know you're studying hard for the exams. And yet, you say you don't mind getting a girlfriend. If you want a girlfriend, why don't you just choose me? Huh? What are you talking about? I like you, Nissan. Like? You're joking, right? I'm not lying. But you've been so distant lately. If I'm not careful, my feelings for you could spill out. That's why I've been trying so hard to stay away. And what were you planning to do with that phone? To add a new collection of your sleeping face. I was very hurt by your comment this morning. I wanted to take a new picture to keep my spirits up. What sleeping face collection? The 13th series of Nissan's face. Wait, what? That's so creepy. I don't know what you're going on about, but it gives me the shivers. It'll probably be easier if I just show you. Show me what? My love for you. Lemon pulled me into her room. I haven't been in her room in years. Come in. Well, then, pardon the intrusion. Uh, he's finally going to see it. He's going to find out everything. I was hoping to wait until we were lovers. I went into the room, ignoring my stepsister, who was freaking out on her own. I was speechless. What the hell? Every corner of Lemon's walls were covered with pictures of me. My sleeping face, my face after waking up, even pictures of me eating and studying. Some made me wonder when she could have taken them. I hope you understand how much I love you, Nissan. This... Yes? I definitely can't tell Dad then about this. I'm glad you understand. Our parents would faint if you saw this. Terrified to be in a room with hundreds of pictures of myself, we returned to my room. Isn't that room draining? I don't know how your mind can withstand it. Why do you say that? There's no other place I'd feel more at home in than that place. You know that isn't normal, right? Can you please explain yourself again? It's how it is. Let's try to sort this out again. Our parents remarried and it turns out my stepsister, Lemon, likes me. But she didn't want to get in the way of my studies, so she tried her best to distance herself from me. However, when she heard my remark about potentially wanting a girlfriend, she couldn't stand it any longer. Um, what kind of light novel is this? I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in going out with anyone right now. Yes. So, I can't respond to your feelings. I know that. For now, right? Hmm? Nissan, you're a serious and straightforward person. I know you like to focus on achieving your goals. That's why I wasn't planning to tell you how I felt yet. I knew how it would turn out, but you accidentally found out. Worry not, I won't pressure you to become my lover yet. I feel a lot of pressure from the word yet. You won't mind if we get along as siblings though, right? Well, sure. Then let's get along starting tomorrow. Please don't overdo it. Saying that was all I could do. I hadn't seen Lemon this happy in years. As her big brother, I wanted to keep that smile on her face. That's all it was. The next day, Lemon's attitude changed, just as she had declared. Case one. Uh, you're hogging the bathroom again? 
Oh, good morning, Nissan. Your hair's a mess. Let me fix it for you. Um, uh, thanks. It's fine. Ah, I'm so happy to get to touch your hair. Case two. Come now, let's go to school. I'm coming, but why are you waiting for me at the door today? Because we're going together. Isn't it obvious? It is? Case three. Let go. Um, what are you doing? It's hard to walk. Plus, it'll attract people's attention. That can't be helped. You're the coolest person in the world, after all. Yep, you are blinded by love. Case four. Bon appetit. What's this? I got up early and made it. I want you to try it. You made it? Yes. Shall I feed it to you? No, I could do it myself. I love that you're so hardcore. There were many other cases as well. What's up with you guys lately? Your sister's personality has changed drastically. It's kind of scary. I don't really understand it either. I'm also sure that I'm a hundred times more afraid than you are. You sound like a lover who has crossed a line. Stop it. How could you say something so horrifying? Is that bad? Brother, let's go home. Speak of the devil. Yeah, see ya. You good? You seem worn out. Having to be together all the time is stressful. It's like having a pet. If you love them too much, they'll die. What are you doing your day off tomorrow? I'm going to buy some new reference books. I'll accompany you. I have no say in this, do I? You sure don't. The next day. All right, let's go. I'm really just going to look at some reference books. It might be boring, you know? It's fine. I'm happy so long as I'm with you, Nissan. You should tell that to other guys. Don't you have a lot of fans? I would never say this to anyone but you. What are you looking at? The Ferris wheel. Oh, the one on top of the department store? It's pretty old, yeah? Yes, it's been there before we were born, so... You want to ride it? Yes. Then you should go ahead. I'll be at the bookstore. That's not what I mean. I want to ride it with you, Nissan. With me? Yes. Hmm, I guess. Really? You don't mind? It's no big deal. Yay. Wow, wow. We're so high up. The buildings look like toys. Seeing her excited like this reminded me of when we were kids. Is it that fun? Super. That's good then. This Ferris wheel is actually a place that holds fond memories for my mom who gave birth to me and my dad. It's where my father confessed his love to her. And I dreamed of one day riding it with the man I love. I'm not going to confess to you. It's fine, I know. I'll hold out until you finish your exams. Plus, we still have lots of time at home and at school. That's when it hit me. Right, I haven't told you yet. About what? I'm moving out next month. What? Dad is helping me find an apartment. I'm going to start living alone. But, but, but why? Simply because I want to have more time to study. It takes quite a while to get to school, right? It's inefficient. This can't be. So we won't be able to hang out like we used to. Lemon then feel silent, as if the previous moment had never happened. Phew. I think that's about it. Move out day was nearing. Right now, it takes two hours one way to get to school. It'll only be a five-minute walk. I'll be saving four hours each day. I'm grateful to my parents for all the help they've given me with the rent and the paperwork. I'll be able to focus more on my studies now. Excuse me, how's the packing going? Ah, it's almost done. Are you really leaving? Once my vacation starts, I'll have no choice but to power through the whole exam process. So yeah. I see. Sorry I didn't tell you until the last minute. I thought you didn't like me, so... I know you're working hard and I want to support you, so it's fine. But can I just ask you one question? What is it? Are you really leaving because you want to concentrate on your studies? I'm worried that you're leaving because you're fed up with me. The thought of it makes me so anxious and sad. Is that why you've been so quiet lately? Because I don't know what to do if you start hating me. So dramatic. I'm not. I can't say that everything was fine, but... I knew it. I understand. I won't bother you anymore. Wait, why are you being so extreme? Because... Well, we're two different people. We won't always understand each other either. To be honest, I think the way you show affection is too extreme and I don't understand why you like me. But you know what? When Dad first introduced you, I decided to be your brother. 
Sometimes a brother might find his sister to be a pain, but he would never hate her. He wouldn't want her to go away. Are you telling the truth? You don't believe me? I do. If you were to say that crows are white, then I will believe that all the crows in the world are white. You don't have to believe me religiously. So, it's not really like that. You know, right? I want to be a doctor and help everyone who is suffering from the same disease that killed my father. I know. If you miss me, you can come visit me anytime. Yes. So, stop crying. Okay, just say the word and I will never cry again. That's what I'm talking about. So scary. I somehow managed to get my sister's approval. My first day living alone. When I returned home, the door was unlocked. Maybe I forgot to lock it since I never made it a habit. Or could it be a thief? I opened the door in a hurry. The answer was waiting there. Ah, uh, Nissan! W what are you doing here? You said I can visit you anytime. I mean, I did say that, but how did you even get in? I begged Dad to give me the spare key. Damn it. Oh, I'll get the dinner ready. That way you can concentrate more on your studies, right? I hate myself for liking that idea. I'll do my best to support you so that you can pass your exams, Nissan. I've already told Mom and Dad, so... You don't have to, you know. I'm sure you're busy, too. Nonsense! There's nothing more important to me than helping you. If anything, I'm very lucky. Why do you say that? Because we can do whatever we want without our parents knowing. Oh, no. So, what will it be, Nissan? Dinner? Study? Bath? Or me? Seeing Lemon come on to me stronger than ever, I realized that I might have dug my own grave. My name is Kaita Hayashi, and I'm just a normal businessman. Ugh, I'm gonna be late for my train at this rate! I should take a shortcut. I'm pretty sure that if I go through this street, it's a shortcut to the train station. The incident happened on the back road without many people. Come on, it's okay, right? We're just asking you to hang out with us a little. Uh... Whoa, they're messing around with that woman. But they're just basically flirting with her, right? It's not guaranteed that she'll end up in a bad situation. Besides, I'll end up missing my train like this. It was probably safer to ignore what was happening. What are you doing? But by the time I realized it, I'd run straight towards a group of men messing with the woman. I'll barge in and protect the woman. That was a situation I imagined in my head, but... Whoa! What the hell? He tripped on nothing! Hey, did this guy hit his head? His eyes are rolled back! C call an ambulance! When I opened my eyes, I was in a hospital with my right hand in a cast. This is my second day in the hospital, but how did I end up in here again? Hayashi-san? How are you feeling? Oh, Asano-san! Hello. This is the nurse who was in charge of me, Mika Asano. She was so pretty that I was starting to think being hospitalized wasn't such a bad thing. Her work was always careful and accurate, and she was kind too. That's how I thought, but it seems like the other patients thought otherwise. They say that she's good at her job, but unfriendly, so many people are afraid of her. Uh, Masano-san? I know this is a weird question, but why am I in the hospital? Huh? Well, I know that I'm here because I have fractured my arm, but I can't seem to remember what happened right before I ended up here. Oh, is that so? Yes, it seems like I have a bit of amnesia. Does that mean you forgot about how you confessed your feelings for me? Don't mess around with me! There's no way that I can confess my feelings to someone as beautiful as you. But beautiful? Me? Yeah, she's very kind too. I'm very unfriendly. Other patients don't think very well of me either. That's not true. You're literally an angel in a white coat in my eyes, Asano-san. <laughs> Hayashi-san, are you flirting with me? Whoa, that's not it. Um, but I guess what I said makes it sound like that. <laughs> Since I'm saying things like this so casually, maybe I actually did confess my feelings to Asano-san. In the end, I never found out the reason why I lost my memory. I mean, at least it doesn't affect my day-to-day -day life. I'm going to stop overthinking it and be more positive about my time at the hospital. I've been caught up with work recently, so it's a good opportunity for me to take a break. Plus, I even get to be taken care of by Mika-san. The following day... Hayashi-san, I'm going to take your temperature. Yes, of course. Um, Asano-san? What's the matter? Are you not going to use a thermometer? I'm happier to use this method instead. What? You can't get my temperature this way, can you? 
I mean, I don't hate the fact that it makes you happy, but, uh... I'm just joking. Thank you for going along with the joke. Even after that, Asano-san's actions were strange. I'm going to check on your blood pressure now. You can measure it by grabbing onto my hand? <laughs> I'm joking. That's right. Asano-san seems concerned that her patients are afraid of her, so she might be using me to practice being more fun person. Hayashi-san, it's time for lunch. Thank you so much. Ooh, but Hayashi-san, you injured your dominant hand, didn't you? It seems like I'll have to feed you. Hayashi-san, here you go. Open wide. No, no, it's embarrassing, so I'll just eat with my left hand. You don't have to be so shy. You're paying to be hospitalized, aren't you? We're charging you for services like this, so you have to make the most of it. Huh? Have hospitals always been fun entertainment services? In the end, Mika-san pushed her opinion through. Maybe I have a hard time saying no to cute girls. Hayashi-san, does it taste good? Y yes it does! I'm so embarrassed that I can't even tell how it tastes! Alright, you have physical therapy in the afternoon, so I'll come pick you up later. Yes, got it! Hmm, I don't understand why everyone's scared of Asano-san. In fact, you took care of me so well that it was making me feel a little embarrassed. I should probably use a restroom before I start physical therapy. While I was walking down the hallway, I stopped in front of a certain room. I know this voice. Is that Asano-san? I looked inside the room out of curiosity. I'm going to draw some blood. Um, I don't really like getting shot, so please do it nicely. Don't make a commotion. It'll be done quickly. Yes, I'll be quiet. Nita-san, did you finish drawing blood from your patients? That nurse is new, right? I saw her whenever I walked around the hospital, and I remember her clearly being nervous like any other newbie would. Oh, not yet. Not yet? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not a big fan of seeing blood and... Okay, then choose. Whether you want to draw blood right now or quit. Uh, I'll do it right now. Ouch! Did you just stab me with the needle? <laughs> Nita-san, I'm going to lecture you later. Asana-san? I thought the rumors that she was scary were fake, but after seeing her like that, she might actually be scary. Still, the staff at the hospital were responsible for people's lives. Maybe nurses had to act that way in order to continue their jobs properly. Hayashi-san, it's time for physical therapy. Oh, yes. Uh, please be gentle. Did something happen? Oh, no. Nothing, really. Sano-san, my legs are fine, so you don't need to lend me your shoulder. I can't do that. If you can't use your hand, you might lose your balance and end up falling down. I'm self-conscious about the patients staring at us as we walk by them. Everyone seems so surprised. I understand how they feel now. I spent a lot of time in bed since I was in the hospital. I needed to go to the physical therapy room to do some light training so that I wouldn't be out of shape. Okay, please do some light exercises on the bike. Okay. I was riding the stationary bike for a while like that, but... I haven't been getting much exercise, so I feel it in my legs even when I go easy on the pedaling. Does that mean your legs are super sore right now? My muscles might be tired. Oh, they are. Asano-san? Oh, no, I'm not trying to do anything weird. I need to be aware of the condition of my patients. This is an important medical checkup, too. Alright, let's head back to your room. I'll lend you a shoulder on your way back, too. She's strangely in a good mood, so I can't really say no. But I guess this is better than Asano-san being strict and scary. I didn't understand why she was kind to just me, but... Two weeks passed by after I ended up in the hospital. My arm is getting a lot better, so I'll probably be released from the hospital soon. I feel like I've been able to de-stress from work, too. But I still haven't gotten my memory from when I ended up in the hospital back. Despite the fact that it didn't affect my day-to-day -day life, I still felt weird about the whole thing. Kita, how are you doing? Huh? Nane, what are you doing here? I heard you were in the hospital, so I came to see you. Here, I bought a souvenir. Nane Nakazawa is a childhood friend whom I've known forever. We knew each other well, so it was really easy to talk to her. She was like a sister to me. So, how is it? Are you getting in trouble for being snoopy with the beautiful nurses? That's the first thing you have to say to me? Don't you have other things you should be asking me? Sorry, sorry. I was just relieved. 
I mean, you said you had amnesia in addition to your fractured arm. I was scared that you forgot about me or something. Oh, sorry for making you worry. But look, I was able to take my cast off and I still remember you, Nane. I still remember that you got in trouble for wetting the bed in third grade, too. Gosh, I told you to stop teasing me about that. Hayashi-san, it's time to take your temperature. Hayashi-san, who is that woman and why is she getting so close to you? What? Uh, who is that? She's so scary. Uh, this is my childhood friend. Really? Is she really just a childhood friend? Uh, of course she is. You never made it seem like you had a special woman in your life. So, one of the few females you have in your life would mean... Do I actually seem that unpopular? Uh... The fact that she didn't respond was an answer in itself. Please say something! I mean, you're you, Hayashi-san. Who cares? Oh, I see. This is that, isn't it? I was wondering why he was doing so well despite being in the hospital. I swear Keita does what he does needs to, huh? Oh, don't worry about that. Keita and I are just really good childhood friends. Uh, uh, of course you are. I'm sorry that I judged you like that when you're a visitor. I mean, we are super close. So close that we took baths together. <gasps> uh, sorry, son. It's a misunderstanding she's talking about when we were kids. Yes, I understand that. It doesn't bother me. Okay, I'm going to take your temperature, so please pull down your pants. Where are you going to take my temperature from? My forehead is enough, isn't it? Why are you trying to say no to me? You've taken a bath with her, haven't you? This is not a different. Besides, that's the wrong way to take someone's temperature. This is a perfectly normal medical procedure. At least show me your butt. Uh, I feel like the purpose of this changed. Oops, maybe I went too far. You don't want Keita to end up with the wrong medical procedure like this. Miss Nurse, I'm just joking. Keita and I are just friends. Uh, by the way, Keita doesn't have a girlfriend now. Uh, is that so? I mean, it doesn't matter who Hayashi-san dates. It's easy to tell what she's thinking. See? My temperature is normal. It's a sign that I'm perfectly calm. Aren't you supposed to be taking my temperature? Nane went home after the commotion. It's fine. I'm jealous that you have a friend who's so close. My job has irregular hours, so I lose friends who hang out with me year after year. Uh... The mood kind of went down. I have to change the subject. By the way, when will I get to be released from the hospital? My body was feeling a lot better, so I assume that I'll be able to head home soon. Unfortunately, you won't be released from here for a while. What? But I can use the arm that I fractured without any problems? Asano-san still tries to feed me, though. It's not up to you. It's for the doctor to decide. All right. I have other jobs I need to get done. Oh, Asano-san. I thought Asano-san would be happy that her patient is getting better. Based on her reaction, does that mean I'm in a much worse condition than I originally imagined? I swear I lied to Hayashi-san just because I didn't want him to leave yet. The day that Hayashi-san could head home had already been decided. The fact that I tried to cover it up by lying didn't change. But if we part ways now, I might not be able to see him ever again. He might even end up dating his childhood friend. Hayashi-san tried to save me from guys who are persistently trying to flirt with me. But he seems to have lost his memory from the day and doesn't remember me. I can't properly thank someone for saving me when they don't even remember that they did that. He'll think I'm a crazy person who's talking nonsense. I haven't been able to thank Hayashi-san yet. A patient who I was in charge of before. He was released from the hospital today. He was always so tense whenever I entered the room. People are scared of me and are afraid of how unfriendly I am. It's not like I'm acting that way because I want people to hate me. I just come off like that when I focus and try to do my job properly. But for some reason, I was able to stay calm whenever I took care of Hayashi-san. It's not like I have a favoritism because I like him. I'm just trying to do something to thank him. Good morning, Hayashi-san. Let's head to the physical therapy room. sano san you seem kind of down today. N no, I I'm totally fine. He guessed it right. I need to tell him the date he could go home by today. I've gotten very used to the stationary bike by now, too. You're doing physical therapy and not trying to work out or anything. 
so please don't overwork yourself. That's fine. I've been doing really well recently. I don't want to be knocked out from lack of exercise after I get back to work. That's why I want to train while I can. I've pedaled a lot. <laughs> that was a good workout. Ah, my legs are heavy. I can't put any energy into them. Yashi-san, watch out! Asano-san grabbed me when my tangled legs caused me to fall. Yashi-san, didn't I tell you not to overwork yourself? I I'm sorry. Asano-san was acting the same way she acted with her other parents. I felt bad for getting ahead of myself, but there was a part of me that was even more surprised. Huh? I feel like I've felt this before. My memory never returned no matter how much better my physical body got. Now my memory was slowly starting to come back to me. That's right! This exact situation happened before too! I was trying to save a woman from these guys who were flirting with her. I was trying to jump in to help her, but tripped and hit my head. The woman who I was trying to save was... Yeah, it was Asano-san! I was trying to save Asano-san! Asano-san, I'm sorry. It's alright. The fact that you are able to work yourself means that you're feeling better too. No, I wasn't just apologizing for that. You were the one who called the ambulance for me that time, weren't you? Huh? Hayashi-san, did your memory... Yes, thanks to you. Hayashi-san, I'm so glad. I'm sorry for worrying you. I'm so sorry too. I couldn't thank you for all this time. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not your fault. It's my fault for losing my memory. Besides, all I did was trip and couldn't save you in the end. I received your kind care and proper thanks. My memory returned, but I couldn't be carelessly happy. According to Asano-san, I can head back home tomorrow. That means I won't be able to see Asano-san anymore. After I got out of the hospital, our relationship as a patient and nurse was going to end. I'm probably just another one of her patients, but... I, I think I like Asano-san. She might just be kind to me because it was her job. I'm embarrassed because it feels like I'm getting the wrong idea, but I don't want things to end without anything happening. Hayashi-san was able to remember what happened that day. While everyone walked by and ignored what was happening, Hayashi-san stepped in to save me. Ever since then, I've been in love with him. I might just be another nurse to him, but... Um, Asano-san? Hayashi-san! Uh, please, go ahead. Oh no. If you have something to say, please... I like you, Asano-san. I want to be with you even after I leave this hospital. Hayashi-san. Asano-san, are you crying? I'm so sorry. Were you grossed out that you needed to cry? That's not it. It's the opposite. Me too. I had fallen for you, Hayashi-san. I'm so happy that you feel the same way. Well, that's a relief. Me too. I feel like the energy in my body just drained right out. I can die without any regrets now. Don't say that. We're just getting started with the fun, aren't we? No, that's absolutely true. I'm excited to get out of the hospital. Me too. I'm so excited to be able to see you outside of the hospital too. I was released from the hospital in top shape and went back to work. I haven't had any physical problems ever since I got back. In fact, I was working even harder than before. I have to head home on time no matter what happens. I have a date with Mika-san after all. That day, I was the most focused I've ever been and finished up my job. Mika-san! Keita-san! Sorry about the wait. Shall we get going? Yes. My life has been a lot more productive ever since I started dating Mika-san. I'm so glad that I decided to save her that day. I mean, it ended up being super lame, but I'll have so many more chances to make up for it from now on. No, I, I can't just make up for it. I want to make her happy and double the favor to her. That's why I need to make Mika-san the happiest girl in the entire world. I'm going to treasure you forever and ever. Thank you, Keita-kun. Hearing you say that makes me so happy. Yeah. Still, no matter how hard I tried, I could only imagine a future where I was happier than Mika-san. <laughs>